Alright, so what's good, you guys? I'm just gonna do a quick review video talking about the Eagles 2017 draft. Well, our first round pick, I'm not gonna lie, I was kinda pissed. I was like, are you serious over John Ross and Dalvin Cook? We gonna pick this dude? But as I sat back and I thought about it, I was like, him with Fletcher Cox and Brandon Graham, our pass rush is gonna be nasty. So I was, when I thought about it, I was like, okay, yeah, it's a decent pick. But the reason why I wanted Dalvin Cook or John Ross because we need playmakers on offense. We haven't had a running game since LaShawn McCoy left, and we haven't had a big threat receiver since LaShawn Jackson left, okay? But let me continue on, all right? Second round, I was like, okay, that's the time we're gonna pick up our running back. We either gonna get Dalvin Cook or Alvin Kamara. I'll take either or. But the Vikings traded up a few picks before us to pick up Dalvin Cook. I was pissed. I, I cussed so loud. I was like, not gonna say it, but I was pissed. Next thing you know, it comes to our pick. I'm like, I right, Alvin Kamara. And all of a sudden, I hear Sidney Jones. I was like, are you serious, Sidney Jones? I remember like a couple of months ago in the mock drafts, they were saying we were gonna pick this dude up either way in the first round, but he ended up getting hurt at his pro day, so um, he might miss like the first six games, I wanna say. But after I watched this film, I mean, we do need help at corner, man. Our corners are ass. The oldest McKelvin, he's buns. And I don't know who the other corner is, but he sucks. So, yeah, we needed that help. I don't know about you guys, but I've been with, I remember when the Eagles had Lito Shepard on one side and Sheldon Brown on the other side. And it was, that's what our defense was hella good. We had Jeremiah Trotter, Javon Kurtz, Corey Simon, Derek Burgess, we had all those dudes. Brian Dawkins, man, I remember when our defense was lit, man. Anyways, to our third round pick, we picked up another corner. This dude, Rasul Douglas from West Virginia. He's decent. He's a decent dude. Um, our fourth round pick, this dude named Mac Hollins from North Carolina. He's 6'5", and they talk about putting this dude on special teams. Like, his main thing would be special teams. I was like, I guess, man. This dude is 6'5". If I was the Eagles, once we get into the red zone, I would use this dude's height. I'll throw this dude high passes every time. Let him get a chance to get a jump ball. You feel me? Our other fourth round pick, this is the only pick that I'm really happy with. It's Donnell Pumphrey. I live in San Diego, so I know a lot about this dude. This dude is the all-time leader rusher in NCAA. He could run the ball. He also could catch the ball out the backfield. He's like another Sproles. We also could put this dude in at slot to give us a receiving threat. So... Yeah, it's cool. I don't know if he's going to be able to run in between the tackles, but he's another playmaker for Carson Wentz to have, so that's dope. And then the other pick that I'm happy about is Shelton Gibson. A year ago, I want to say, I seen a, I watched his highlight tape, and uh, their coach was saying that this dude is either just as fast or faster than Tavon Austin. And on the field, he was dusting people, but he ran like a 4-5-1, so... I don't know about all of that. He he could be a deep threat. He could stretch the field, so that's pretty dope. I like that pick. In the fifth round, we picked this dude named Nate Jerry or Gary from Nebraska. He's a hard hitter. I know he got kicked out of a few games for targeting, and I hope he don't get no concussions. So you could scare Odell Beckham from trying to do slants going across the middle, make that dude worry. <laughs> and then our um, the last pick was Elijah Qualls. I never I don't know too much about him. He's I just know he's six foot three hundred some pounds. Um, I didn't hear a lot about him during the season, so I really don't know too much about him. Yeah, I don't know who we're going to sign for the undrafted free agents. Um, they didn't update that list yet, but hopefully we get some more playmakers. We need to get some linemen, at least some guards and some tackles. At least one, because we do need help on our O-line too. Overall, I didn't like the draft. I didn't like our picks as much, but I just hope they, I hope they pan out, man. I really do. Uh, Barnett, Sidney Jones. Puffries and Gibsons, those are the only dudes I'm really worried about. I just hope they pan out for us, you know, make an impact this season. I think we could have done better, but it's all good. But if you guys are Eagles fans, you guys let me know what you think about our picks in the comment section, man. Are you guys disappointed just like I am? You guys let me know. Even if you're not an Eagles fan, you guys let me know in the comment section how you feel about your team's draft. But that's the video, you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. And I'm going to catch you guys next video.